Demystifying Holomorphic Functions, a guide for beginners. Hello, everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into an intriguing topic in mathematics, especially for those of you learning English and interested in expanding your knowledge. We're going to explore holomorphic functions, a fundamental concept in complex analysis. Don't worry if this sounds complex. We're here to break it down into simple, understandable parts. Let's embark on this mathematical journey together. At its core, a holomorphic function is a type of function that's incredibly smooth and well-behaved, but in a very special way. To understand it, first, we need to grasp what complex numbers are. Complex numbers are numbers that have both a real part and an imaginary part. For example, the number 3 plus 4i 3 plus 4i 3 plus 4i is complex, where 333 is the real part, and 4i 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 is the imaginary part. A function is called holomorphic if it satisfies two key conditions when applied to complex numbers. 1. It must be differentiable in a neighborhood of every point in its domain. This means that the function's rate of change is smooth and consistent, not just at a single point, but around an entire area. 2. This differentiability must hold throughout the entire domain where the function is defined, not just at isolated points. In simpler terms, if you can zoom in anywhere on the graph of the function and it still looks smooth, without any breaks, sharp corners, or holes, then it's holomorphic. Holomorphic functions are the superstars of complex analysis for several reasons. They are incredibly predictable. Once you know a little bit about a holomorphic function, such as its values or behavior in a small area, you can determine a lot about its behavior everywhere else. They obey many beautiful and powerful theorems that allow mathematicians to solve complex problems with elegance and efficiency. For example, the Cauchy's Integral Theorem and the Riemann Mapping Theorem rely heavily on properties of holomorphic functions. They have practical applications in physics, engineering, and other sciences, especially in fields dealing with wave phenomena and fluid dynamics. To bring the concept closer to home, let's consider a few examples where holomorphic functions play a crucial role. In electrical engineering, designing circuits to behave in certain ways under varying conditions. Quantum physics, where these functions help describe the behavior of particles in complex systems. In aerodynamics, for modeling airflow over wings and through engines. Even if you're not a scientist or engineer, Understanding holomorphic functions enriches your mathematical literacy and opens up new ways of thinking about problems. Thank you for joining us today to uncover the mysteries of holomorphic functions. We hope this video has illuminated a bit of the beautiful interplay between real and imaginary, simplicity and complexity, that defines this fascinating area of mathematics. Remember, Mathematics is a language of its own, and you're expanding your fluency with every concept mastered. Keep learning, keep exploring, and we'll see you in the next video.